What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Manny, and welcome to the new War of Us test server session. This weekend, with a lot of changes, we have a dash unit, jump unit, disguise unit. We know that we had this in another test server, but we have some updated weapon FX graphics, I guess, video FX for various weapons. But the biggest thing is the pilot system rework. And when I read this, no one really knew what this was about. I thought it was just like how the menu works, right? How you acquire a pilot and the menu has changed. And I just realized that's not true. You can now upgrade skills. There's a massive amount of changes in there. Uh, and if I, for example, want to get a new pilot here for, let's say, for the Fenrir, right? So I get to AI controlled and then training center. Um, this is what the pilots that I have that are already assigned or not assigned and this is the training center where we get new pilots and uh, Here you see the menu has already changed a bit. Okay um, Maximum rank of pilots available uh, is colonel um, Okay, so let's refresh Let's refresh. Let's get a legendary pilot. Okay, just so we then we see something Oh, and don't forget that we currently have this giveaway going on where I'm giving away 200 Ao Ming Titans It's from yesterday. So brand new and it still goes on for a week or more So uh, check out the video in the upper right corner if you also want to have a chance at that time um, By the way normal pilots as usual have every pilot has seven skills uh, Including the legendary but the legendary pilot already comes with a skill So he has only six more skills while the normal pilots they have full seven skills available that won't change Although in my opinion a legendary pilot should maybe have one more skill just also have seven But you know, they're already good enough. Maybe that is not supposed to be happening. Okay, so here we have a, um, a Nemesis pilot. It's not the right one for uh, the um, for uh, the, what's it called for the Fenrir, but doesn't matter. Okay, let's forget this part. Here is now the empty slots uh, for the pilot skills, and we upgrade them. We, we choose basically the first ones. You always get them assigned randomly. That won't change. So here it is. Boom, mechanic. Fenrir repairs a portion of its maximum durability each second. The first thing you'll notice is that normally this was 0.5% per second. Now the skill after you acquire it is less valuable and less useful than before. But you can upgrade the skill. So you get less than you did before unless and then you upgrade it for gold again. And that will make it better. That will make it from tier 1 to tier 2, uh, which is then 0.38. And now it's not even there yet. It, there is a tier 3 that you have to upgrade again to get to the thing that you always had. However, that's not always the case. Sometimes the skill is already the same from the beginning and you make it even better than we have it on the live server with upgrading. It depends on the skill, it seems. Uh, you see here now upgrading again tier 3 and here is an upgrade tier 4, the golden one, that makes it even better than we see it currently on the live server. And in my opinion, if you guys want to hear my opinion on this, and I hope Pixonic is also, you know, gathering feedback, I don't like this so much. Uh, the idea of upgrading pilots is already a very, very wa vast system. There's so many components to it. And uh, upgrading them by upgrading each tier, each er er every single skill further is, is I don't, I'm not a, not a big fan of this. Previously, we upgraded the skills by leveling the bar below, you know, by getting towards the next pilot level, and with that, we upgraded the skill. Um, but now you can actually actively upgrade a skill, and I don't know how this looks like if a skill, if a pilot, for example, isn't max level. Let's test this. Oh, and by the way, if you want to see how I earned myself a very funny price with a well-executed landing after flying my paramotor, then check out the other second video link in the upper right corner to visit my other YouTube channel, the Paramotor Manny channel, and support me a bit on that channel too if you want, if you have some leftover time, that would be cool. Thanks. And then we're going through a couple of skills and I show you a couple of different things. Let's choose a level 1 pilot, okay? So the level 1 pilot has only one skill available right now. And he is level, or she is, Claudia, she's level 1, okay? So we choose a skill um, and we press OK. We get a skill and, okay, so... It's a dodge dodger. All active modules and outchuns recharge faster. Okay, it's max tier. Aha, uh -huh. let's boost. So we're boosting the skill still. Yeah, now the skill gets better. So you still have the component 
of increasing the skills while training your pilot in battle, you know, you still make the sp skill stronger. And then if you have a skill that cannot can be um, uh, upgraded, then you can do so. Okay, let's just upgrade a couple of more skills, get a couple of more available here and um, boosting them. So one of the skills was immediately chosen. Another one is now empty. Interesting. Okay, so we have a couple of skills now. See, for example, Wonder Worker. Upon activating ability, Aochun immediately repairs a portion of its maximum durability. We know the skill from the live server. So it's currently 5.63% HP we get when we ap activate this. In comparison, or for you guys to compare, normally that's on the live server 7.5%. 7.5% you get repaired on your full ro uh, of your robot when you activate the flight. Now it's only 5.6 unless we upgrade and then it gets to 7.5. So, and that is now the max tier. See, some skills have only tier 3 while other tiers their skills go up to tier 4. How how do you know which skill goes up to how what tier? It's really complex now. Let's go and equip one full robot together, then we jump into one battle. And um, yeah, and this is what I wanted to show you here. What is this? Recharges an active module after our Chun's durability drops to a certain level. We all know this skill. It's the this, this was one of the only one of the very few skills that didn't scale with up, uh, with piloting um, you know improvements. It just it was fully active from the moment you did you did it. And it does 50% here, tier 5, uh, tier also 50%, tier 3 also 50%. So there's no ch no reason um, to even, uh, you know, to even upgrade this, unless, no, there is no improvement on this. So no matter what you do, the foolhardy skill of Quartermaster cannot be improved. Good, let's, let's, let's just go into one robot at the, at the end, this guy, okay? Let's just skill through this and, uh, and see if we can find, uh, a good pilot for it. All right, um, training center, refresh. Refresh. Let's take one that has some. Who is that guy for? The Mercury. Um, let's refresh. There's no legendary pilot for uh, the Raker, so let's just choose here Wang Fang Bot because he's got Bot in the name. She's got. She's. Why is it always? Oh, Bot Ta. Okay. Um, so we have a couple of skills available for our uh, short range brawler um, Raker. And we now choose some skills. The first ones are chosen randomly based off... Wait, I want to choose skills. Ah, I need to cl click this button. Okay. Um, we get random skills assigned because we already have weapons equipped to it, which you need to have. And as you see here, some skills that you gain are already maxed here. While others still have the option to be upgraded. And um, sharpshooter, halo increased shot grouping. Well, yeah, 10%. That's normally 20% on the live server. Now it's only 10. We have to upgrade it to tier 2, then 3 to get the same we have on the live server. I'm not a fan of this. Pixonic, I don't like this so much because it means we have to, um, you know, do more steps to get to the same result. And uh, I'm pretty sure that those steps also cost more. Um, yeah. And, you know, let's be honest. Pilots, pilots and all their skills... They, they were something you, you could drop a lot of gold in there, you know? I don't think there's a reason to make this more expensive. Um, so that's my point of view. We have here active dodger, uh, recharge active module. What a worthless skill. It's, can I change the skill? Yeah, I can change it. No, I can change the pilot. How do I change the skill? Change skill there. Ah, okay. There's a separate menu for this now. Random. Boom. Okay. Um, if an enemy controls three or more beacons, no, uh, another skill. Glory, increased damage, no, another skill. Uh, increased weapon, is that the same that we just had? Come on, Raker, Raker here, Raker repairs a, repairs a portion of its maximum durability. And this one is immediately fully maxed. That we already have this uh, maxed out, huh? Okay, so uh, locks on tar targets faster. We don't need that because, you know, we have no lock on weapons. Let's choose a different one. Um, recharge faster. We all Don't we already have this somewhere? No, we changed it. Okay. okay. Increased speed. Let's choose that. That's a good one. 
okay? So we get only 3.25%. I'm not sure what this normally is. I would get set I would guess like 7%, 7.5 maybe. The Roadhog. But you guys can correct me on this if I'm wrong. Uh, and there's only two upgrades to, to tier 3 and now it's 6.5. Then I guess it was 6.5. Yeah, so a uh, pilot skills massive change. Um, not only the menu has changed, but the actual pilot skills can now be upgraded and need to be upgraded. They not just can be upgraded, they need to be upgraded in order to be as useful as they previously were. And that's where I have a problem. And the fact that you can, you could already, you know, invest so much gold in the whole pilot topic um, that now you can just, uh, it, it just goes too crazy in my opinion. Alright, so, um, let's choose, let's choose, oh man, I don't have any long range robots, don't I? No, got nothing with long range. Let's choose this guy then. We, I, do we have the dash unit? Yeah, we have. Woo! <laughs> okay, we're da dashing Ares, that's cool. Is the game too quiet? Yeah, the game is in fact too quiet. Um, hold on, I'm gonna, ah. That's why. Now it's better. Okay. I had the volume still tuned down for some, for some reason. Okay. There's a, uh, a specter with, um, with Hydras. I'm going to dash. Okay. How far away is he? I think he's just destroyed already. Yep. Specters get destroyed ridiculously fast nowadays. Maybe we can come in from behind. I'm a little bit scared here because if I do one mistake, it's going to end up bad. Okay, he's got the legendary pilot. But he doesn't really have damage weapons, so it's not really like a... He's not really a big threat at this point. Okay. I've already lost a lot of health there. Okay, bringing up the shield now. And now that the weapons are no longer suppressed, I can take down this guy. Wow, he can really take a beating. And whoop, dash out of the way. Hold on, he's actually coming over here. Isn't he? Ow, I just lost my last stand. Oh, it's a jumping out Chun. <laughs> okay, nice, he got destroyed. An enemy, uh, Ares coming up. He's stealthing. Oh, he's got the, this, this thing. But he just activated the shield, which is good. All right. And a jumping Loki. Dude, this is ridiculous. A jumping Loki. Now he's doing another stealth. Okay, this guy is now flying. I expected as much. That's why I didn't use my shield here. Um, and keep in mind our pilots is like really really not set up well We don't really have any pilots set up Okay, there we go come on die there you go nice Okay, this guy actually has only uh, the legendary uh, the normal shielding going on why am I doing no- look at- look at this, I did no damage to him, but he didn't have the legendary pilot with, um, with the resistance. He only- he had the pilot with a- with a shield. Was I maybe locked? Maybe I was suppressed, this could be. I didn't- I didn't notice the suppression. Could be that I was suppressed. Okay. We have very little firepower. Uh, we have to get very close in order to have firepower. And that's what we're doing here. Okay, this guy's taking quite some beating here. It's a Loki. He could be, uh, he could stealth, but he's not doing it for some reason. Alright. <laughs> Whatever. It's, by the way, this is a really interesting match. I like that. It's actually a pretty interesting one. Uh-oh, the enemy's already having a Titan in the air, and I didn't even... What is doing so much damage to me? I just lost my entire Raker. My entire Raker is done in two or three shots. 
Ah, uh, I know what it is now. Okay, it was a Titan. He spent the time to get a uh, Laser Titan out. I did not spend any time. I have the normal default kit. Let's lock the suppress this guy. I'm trying to target switch, man. Trying so hard. He's locked. Wow, the damage you now take from the stuff is incredi incredible. Good. Let's jump into uh, into the flying owl uh, chun. Uh, the st the the sniper owl Ming is in the distance still. <laughs> Jumping Fenrir. I just can't get over this. This is just too funny. <laughs> Um, is this... I think we have the jump here, don't we? I think this is the jump, yeah. We have the jumping... Uh, jumping module on this... On this thing. And the, the laser sniper Al Ming just stays at max range, where he can just obliterate everyone with two or three shots, and no one can stand... No one stands a chance. No one can fight back, because no one has 600 meters range with that much firepower. Woo! Jumping! Okay. Wow, the damage I'm doing here is, in theory, would be really high, but uh, in reality, it's like the Titan has so much health, I, I can barely hurt it. But I can do a bit of damage from here. And the match is going to be over at any moment anyway, so... Yeah, tell me, ladies and gentlemen, what you think about this pilot change, in my opinion. Not really that good of an idea. Um, and uh, by the way, don't forget, we currently have a giveaway going on, which would be this. All right. Okay. Um, you find it in the upper right corner. So, um, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and comment down below. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe as brutal as a man can it for more. Thanks for being with me, you guys. Awesome as always. Money Gaming signing off.